How's it going, guys? Been a while since I have brought you a sold video, uh, so I thought I would go ahead and do one. Um, <clears throat> I've been selling like crazy. eBay's been super busy. My auction website's been super busy. Uh, we're just getting a lot of really neat stuff in. Just a lot of cool stuff. And we've uh, tweaked our homepage, as you can see. Now we do the uh, preview video, and we kind of implement that into the homepage a little bit. So it seems to be working. Um, you know, a lot of people can't make the preview, so we like to do that video to kind of show people what we got. All right, first up, <clears throat> some stuff from my auction website. Look what I found. Uh, we sold this uh, old Batrack coin bank. This thing's really cool. It's pretty small, too. I mean, it's only like four inches tall or so. And uh, these bats, I believe, were all uh, National League. So, like, you had Cincinnati Reds in there, you had the Dodgers, um, I think the Braves are in here, the Cubs, Astros, Cardinals, Pirates, even had a Montreal Expos, a team's defunct, they actually uh, turned into the Washington Nationals. But yeah, these are pretty cool, um, definitely vintage, and have some pretty good value, these sold for 44 uh, This is really neat, we've had a few of these come in, this is a... Uh, seed sower. <clears throat> Basically, what these are is you would put this strap uh, over your shoulder and you would fill the bag with seeds. And then this would spin and it would kind of just like, you know, throw the seeds around, uh, make them easier to plant. Definitely vintage, you know, probably 40, 50 years old. <clears throat> Uh, the Sony micro cassette recorder. This this really surprised me. This sold for one hundred and six dollars, and a reseller bought it. I'm pretty sure it was a reseller bought it. So there's still meat on the bone for them. These things just bring crazy money. If you ever find these micro cassette recorders, um, and it's not just Sony. Other brands sell pretty good too. Like I know Olympus sells. Like Panasonic sells pretty good. Um, keep an eye out, especially if they're sealed. They can really bring some good money. Uh, I sold this in 64. I found this myself uh, at a yard sale and <clears throat> tested it. Worked great. Had these games, three controllers. Um, I could have put this on eBay, but to be honest, I don't think it would have gotten much more. You know, I got $68. I didn't have to pay any fees. I didn't have to ship it. Um, although we did put this in our national auction, but <clears throat> it just worked out really well. Uh, we're doing great with video games. I mean, the idea is to sell. For me to sell less on eBay and more on my auction site. Best of Soul Train DVD set. Um, <laughs> these are pretty cool. Uh, they brought thirty bucks. I'm su kind of surprised these weren't mine. Somebody brought these in. Um, I guess they've got a pretty decent resale value. Um, I found <clears throat> the uh, Midnight Special. Uh, DVDs once too, and that's you know, it was kind of like a similar show of uh, music and stuff, and those those do well. So definitely keep an eye out for the Soul Train DVDs. I just thought this thing was so cool. This is a uh, <clears throat> Sunoco gas tank portable radio. Looks just like a gas tank. The thing is really neat. Just a cool design. In pretty good condition for its age too. That sold for 33. All right, on to the eBay stuff. <clears throat> this is um, an NEC unit. I actually took a best offer on this thing. I'm gonna pull up my my sales on my phone because these don't always show up uh, the best offers. So I want to make sure I get you guys the right prices. I'm um, pretty sure this one was a hundred. See if I can find it here. Yeah, I took a best offer of a hundred dollars on this one, uh, plus uh, shipping. <clears throat> I knew this powered on. I tested it. I think I had it in a, a former video, but uh, I couldn't test it any further because the connection cable, you know, doesn't go to any kind of modern monitor. So I just really had no way to test it. I just Powered it up and sold it as is. 
Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This was in all those games that I bought. I guess it's been like five or six weeks now <clears throat> um, that I paid like 500 bucks for. But uh, I've been doing well with them. Definitely making the money back. Uh, and this brought 30 bucks free shipping. Uh, squash Racket. I actually had two of these. I got them both at a yard sale for two bucks each. They were in like mint condition. I mean, really, really great shape. Uh, the way, the grip had a little bit of wear, but that was about it. Other than that, I mean, these just did not have much use. I sold them, uh, I listed them for 50 bucks or best offer and sold both of them for like 35. I took best offers 35 on them. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, this Panasonic, uh, oral irrigator. This is just like a weird thing. I saw it at a yard sale for two bucks <clears throat> and since it was sealed, I picked it up. Um, the package actually, unfortunately, had already been opened, but it didn't look like it had ever been used. Uh, so I still sold it as new and kind of wrote up a description like, hey, here's here's what it is. If it had never been, like, broken open, I think I might have gotten more like 60 or 70 bucks for it. Uh, ping Answer Putter. This thing's kind of ugly, to be perfectly honest. It's got, like, some green stuff in there, and I scrubbed it pretty good to get a lot of that out, but... Just kind of is what it is. Um, if this was a right-handed putter, I don't know if I would have wasted my time mustering it because the market's pretty flooded with these, um, and I don't think they've got the same value as a left-handed putter, simply because there aren't as many of them out there. Left-handed clubs generally <clears throat> will sell easier for you, and sometimes for a little bit more money, not always a lot. Uh, Star Wars. I got this game in a big lot of Xbox games um, a couple weeks ago. I paid <clears throat> $55 for like 35 or 40 games, I think. Or maybe it was like $75 for 55 games. I roughly had like $1.50 into each game. Um, and there were some good titles in there. There's another one coming up I'll show you guys. But yeah, I sold this for 35 free shipping. Um, it wasn't sealed or anything like that. Just complete in box. Jedi Knight Academy, so that's a bolo for sure. Uh, this Lacoste hat, <clears throat> I bought four or five of these. No, sorry, three. So two available, I sold one. Uh, I bought three of these. They were all new. Saw the cardboard in there, and a couple of the other ones are in the plastic still. Um, got them for a buck each and sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. This was a great find. I bought a huge tub of Legos uh, about a month back. It's like 60 pounds of Legos. And I paid 100 bucks for them. <clears throat> I pulled out all the minifigures. Uh, there was probably like 100 or more minifigures, and we've been selling those on my website. And I found this little Triceratops, and I looked him up, and I was like amazed at what he was selling for. Um, I listed him for 65 free shipping, and he sold almost immediately. I probably undersold him, to be honest. Uh, Super Turrican. This was a good one. Uh, complete in the box. This is in that video game lot. <clears throat> I did take a best offer on this one of 110. I had it listed for three or four, maybe even five weeks. And, uh, you know, I <clears throat> was tracking my views. I just didn't have a ton of them. I think it's, you know, pretty small market of somebody that wants this specific game is willing to pay up for having it complete in the box. You guys got to forgive me. I'm getting some kind of like sinus infection or something. Weather's crazy. Uh, I got this voice recorder at a yard sale for five bucks. There were no comps on this thing. Not on WorthPoint, not on eBay, not on Amazon, nothing. Um, so I really didn't know what to go off of. It is a digital recorder, so I knew it had some pretty good value. Um, so I listed for 100 or best offer. Somebody offered me 60. I countered with 80. They countered with 70, and I took the 70 bucks. And I think it sold the same day. Next up is this little Nico uh, six volt battery charger. Not big money, thirteen ninety nine free shipping. But I think I got it for like fit. You know what? I didn't even pay for it. This was in a random box of stuff that I got somewhere. Um, it might have been in with that like N sixty four stuff. Um, <clears throat> but it worked fine, so I sold it. These are you know good little 
bread and butter items because you'll you'll find these a lot. You know, they're a little like RC car uh, batteries and battery packs and chargers. You'll see them out there for sure, and you can always get them for like a quarter, fifty cents. They're always really, really cheap. And I've got a pretty good success rate with those working too. I don't think I found one yet that hasn't worked. Uh, this pure water filtration system. <clears throat> this was a six pack of like refills, and it was sealed. That's why I bought it. Um, if it had been you know opened and used, I probably I don't think there's any value, but it was still sealed. Uh, paid five, sold it for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, these Wii Moat controllers. Um, sold a pair of these for eighteen ninety nine, free shipping. Super lightweight too, and I think I sent them first class because I'm pretty sure they were still under a pound, so wasn't wasn't too expensive. Although in the future, now that I'm thinking about it, I might just throw these on my website because I'll bet you I can get pretty close to that price. It's always a delicate balance of <clears throat> what do I put on my website and what do I put on eBay. If I think I can get 60 to 75% of eBay price, I'll typically just put it on my website, you know, avoid the fees and the hassle and everything else. Uh, these golf clubs, gosh, look at that terrible picture. I've got the I got my tubs in the background there. Um, these are kind of hard to photograph, though, because they're so long, and you want to get that shot of all of them. Uh, these I sold for 110 plus shipping. Um, these uh, had the gap wedge and the sand wedge, <clears throat> so they were complete. I think I did a video on these, uh, just kind of showing you guys how to kind of, what you want to show with the golf clubs, what you want to look for when you're listing them on eBay, things like that. Uh, you definitely want to show the the flex, uh, you know, the shafts, the grips, the face of the clubs. This right here, these these two shots, the faces of the clubs are probably the most important. That's probably what the golfer cares about the most. How much wear does that face have? Uh, this little Craftsman battery charger, <clears throat> I got this at a yard sale for fifty cents. I've sold a couple of these actually in the last few months. Um, I always find them in like random boxes I buy or I'll pick them up for like next to nothing and they sell. I mean, this is a pretty common charger. Uh, I sold this for 15 free shipping and I tried to show, you know, a lot of pictures just so that there was no doubt, you know, if somebody was looking at it and they weren't sure if this is the one they needed, you know, trying to get pictures of that just so they could, they can confirm that is the one. I always hate that when I'm trying to buy something that I need on eBay and there's like one photo. It's like I'm not 100% if this is really what I need. Um, <clears throat> this uh, affects analog course flanger doubler. Um, this thing, I think it powered, I don't even know if it powered on. It was in real rough shape. So I listed it as is. Uh, yeah, unit powers on but has not been tested further. And it was, it was just rough. It was pretty dirty, beat up. It was missing some knobs. Um... So I went ahead and took a best offer of 50 bucks. This was just in a big bundle deal of stuff I got somewhere. Okay, uh, these Estepans uh, Rock Guitar Lesson DVDs. These are uh, still leftovers from my media palettes. I've still got media palette stuff I'm selling that I had listed on eBay. And this is just a terrible, terrible photo. This is so bad. This was like me sitting uh, on my couch taking a picture on my uh, end table. It was late at night. I'd been listening for a while. I'm like, you know what? I need to get through, through the rest of these. And I just took some pictures like this, just with enough lighting. You know, not a great photo, but they could kind of get the idea of what it was. Oh, the Sony Walkman. This is a great find. <laughs> just a lucky find here. I got this at the yard sale for a dollar. The lady had three Walkmans. Uh, two were used, and then this one was new. They were all Sony, um, and I asked how much they were, and she said a dollar each, and I just bought them all up. Uh, one of them didn't work, but the other used one did work, and then this one was sealed, obviously. I think I might have undersold it, to be honest, maybe by like 10 bucks, 5 bucks. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I got a dollar into it. I'm happy to get 115 plus shipping. Um, I just don't want to sit on stuff for a month to try to get, you know, a little bit, a little bit extra. I'd rather flip it. Go make money with that money. <clears throat> Got this Funko Pop. This guy, um, the yard sale I went to, he had all kinds of different like 
comic book, you know, collector things. And he had like 10 or so Funkos. And he, he was asking about five bucks each for them. I just did a quick search of each one. Uh, and this one had some value. You know, it was selling for right around 25 or so. Uh, so I went ahead and got this. I think he was asking six for this one. I got it for five. And <clears throat> sold it for 22 plus shipping. These things are nice because they're so lightweight. I mean, even in the box, I think it weighed like six ounces or something. So it was pretty cheap to ship. <clears throat> this is a really cool find. Uh, this is an old uh, clay pigeon thrower. Um, this was meant to be like a one-man pigeon thrower. So like if you were by yourself, you could throw the pigeons. Um, I did take a best offer on it, though of 165 he had offered like 130 and i countered and then he countered again i took the 165 i got this for two bucks at a yard sale honestly when i bought it i just thought the box looked cool uh because the box had those like metal hinges at the corner so i knew it had some age to it but yeah just a really neat item i doubt i'll ever find one again <laughs> it's just one of those oddball things Uh, these are some KitchenAid mixer attachments. <clears throat> it's a grinder, sausage stuffer, and juicer. Um, they were all new in the box. I picked them up at a yard sale for 10 bucks. I actually bought them for my wife, Whitney, because we have a mixer, KitchenAid mixer, and she uh, does a lot of stuff with it. But she's like, you know, I just don't think I'm going to really use these attachments. So I went ahead and sold them. <clears throat> I got 40 bucks plus shipping. <laughs> Uh, sold this Audio Technica microphone. <clears throat> That's a good brand, Audio Technica. They make all kinds of different microphones. I don't know that this thing was ever really used. You know, a lot of the stuff was still in the plastic. <clears throat> the battery that came with it was still in the plastic. Just in really good shape. You know, still had the box and everything. Uh, picked that up for five bucks. Sold it uh, for thirty-five plus shipping. All right. Here is the My Little Pony. I got this at a yard sale a couple months back for a dollar. And I had it on the show this week in reselling because I wanted to point it out to everybody. It's one of these weird things. There's actually a market for these My Little Pony things uh, because there are collectors out there that call themselves bronies. And they are grown men who are My Little Pony fans. There's actually a documentary about it and everything. I think the documentary is called Bronies. Um, <clears throat> I had this listed for a while. Uh, I just wasn't getting any bites. Um, so I took a best offer of 57 plus shipping. The box wasn't in terrific condition. I think that's probably what hurt it. But yeah, I'm still happy on that return. Oh man, these were a fantastic find. This I was the right place at the right time with these. So these are uh, baby gates, um, and they're <clears throat> they were all new in the box. I bought f uh, four, five of them. I sold one locally, and then I sold the other four on eBay. Um, quick, easy sales. They were five bucks a piece, and right after I bought them, like this other lady was trying to buy them, and I was like, sorry, I already bought them all. Um, sold these for forty bucks plus shipping. Arx Fatalis. All right, so here's another one of those Xbox games I got. This one's actually sealed. And <clears throat> I did really good with those Xbox games. I was surprised because when I bought them, I was thinking, man, Xbox games just don't have a lot of value. But I was wrong. Some of them definitely do. Uh, this one brought 40 bucks free shipping. Uh, TI-83 Plus. I bought this and another TI-89. Uh, uh, for 10 bucks a piece at the yard sale. Um, this one I couldn't get to work. Had to sell it for parts. Um, sold it for $9 free shipping. But this one is where I made my money. The TI-89, it did work. Um, and I got $58 free shipping on that. So I ended up making, you know, 35 bucks or so, probably after fees on, on that buy. Oh, I bought this uh, Porsche Buckster bra. Uh, for 80 bucks, or no, I bought it for 10 bucks. <clears throat> I only had it for about a month, I think. 
<clears throat> before it sold. I did take a best offer on it for $70 plus shipping. This thing was cool. I thought it would take a lot longer to sell just because uh, it's, a, it's a pretty specific item. You know, you got to find the guy that's got that car. But from what I've learned, you know, if a guy's got a BMW or a Porsche or, you know, a really high-end car, he wants he wants the good stuff for his car. So he's going to get the original stuff. And this is from Porsche. It's not any kind of aftermarket or anything like that. All right, last but certainly not least, I sold a Scotty Cameron putter. I paid up for this one. I paid, <clears throat> gosh, I'm trying to remember. I think I paid $60 for it. I know I, I had to pay up for it pretty good. This was a long one, 38 inches. Like, as soon as I picked it up, I was like, whoa, this is long. Because the guy selling it was like 6'6". So he had a custom, um, very big putter. These things bring big money, big, big money. Scotty Cameron, it's... Um, it's probably the the most valuable putter out there. Definitely a great bowler for sure. And this one brought two fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping. And this had the head cover too. Always helps when they've got the head covers. Jeez, I am losing my voice, guys. I apologize. <clears throat> uh, that's all I've got, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.